now let's talk about html entities okay what are entities and why we have to use this one okay now if you see here okay here this is here i am having this lesser than symbol and here i am having this greater than symbol okay this symbols whatever i am having here lesser than and greater than okay these are reserved characters inside html okay now if i just want to use this one inside my project now if i just want to compare it, like x is less than y or x is greater than y then i can't use this kind of symbol now here let me just write one paragraph and inside this i'll be writing x is greater than y i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now here i am having this output okay but this is reserved words okay whatever we are having here they are reserved in html so for that we don't have to write like this instead of that because whenever we are using this one okay if we are using this one okay this is not going to be predicted and get wrong result for us okay it will not understand what we are doing when you are doing bigger projects then this kind of things you have to take care now instead of this i'm just going to remove this and here i'll be writing less than okay like this you have to write okay this is and and here i am having this lt semicolon okay instead of that you just have to write this symbol i'll come here i'll refresh this one now you can see here i am having this output okay here i am having less than now if i just write here gt greater than i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i am having this greater than symbol completely these are reserved characters inside html so to use this kind of characters we have to use entities okay now here i am having this one now here for this if i just print here and let me just write here and i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i am having this output okay but this is also okay we cannot use like this instead of that we are having one more thing okay instead of that here i'm just going to write here amp ampersand okay to print ampersand symbol we just have to write like this i'll refresh this one it is going to print me the same result okay you should always write here semicolon okay once you write this semicolon you will understand this is entity i'll come here i'll refresh this one here you can see again i'm having the same output then why we have to use this okay you will be having this doubt even if i give that one i am getting the same output and even if i without giving this one then also i am getting the same output okay the problem is whenever we are using this one and this okay browser is going to do some process and it will not understand what we are doing okay it is going to fetch the information and if we are using reserved words inside html then this is not going to predict and it will get confused okay so for that we have to use this html entities okay these are all reserved characters inside html so you directly you cannot use that one so for that we just have this one okay even when you are using javascript okay you don't have to worry about javascript now if you are using javascript and inside that you are just converting this okay script tag you are just converting you are just writing this one for lesser than and for greater than you are just writing and you are printing that one okay now here instead of this let me just write here and lt okay this is my okay this is lesser than symbol here i'll be writing paragraph and here let me just write here and greater than i'll save this one i'll come here i'll refresh this you can see it is going to be printed like this if you just want to print this paragraph like this okay you can just print that one okay you will be getting the output now if i just write here p okay it is not going to print me anything i'll refresh this one you can see it is not going to be printed okay if you just want to print this kind of elements or this kind of tags inside html then you can use this one okay you can use entities and you can display that one now here inside this if i just write here paragraph i'll save this i'll refresh this one you can see again i am not having any output okay here before this one i am not having any output let me just comment this one i'll refresh this you can see this output is not printed okay because it is okay this is opening tag inside html i can't print this one even if i give here okay let me just give some space i'll save this you can see i am getting this error okay it is not going to predict at all so for that we just have to use html entities okay if you just want to print like that now here let me just write here hello hello everyone and again i'm just closing i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay if i just want to print along with the paragraph you can see here i'll be getting this output okay this is how we are going to use entities okay this is lesser than for just for lesser than symbol this is for greater than symbol and this is to print ampersand okay that is nothing but and okay you can use this ampersand symbol when you are you when you are comparing like when you are using operators and operator or operator like that inside that we are having ampersand symbol for and operator okay so for that you can use this one ampersand symbol okay and also if you just okay now we have already seen about this quote tag inside this whatever i write that i'll be getting around quotes i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'll be getting this quotes okay for this i am here 
okay you can see here here i'll be getting this quotes for this one let me just increase the size okay if i just give this quote here i'll be getting that one okay if you just want to print that one okay for that also we are having one entity now here let me just come uh, inside uh, inside one paragraph i'll just write here lorem 10 and inside this okay here let me just write here and and here i'm just going to write and q u o t okay for quotation i'll just write here semicolon i'll refresh this one okay now you can see here i'm having this kind of quote okay to get that quotes you can also use that one okay this is one type of entity we have seen totally four entities now okay we are having plenty of entities and also if you just want to write copyright symbol okay if we want to print some of the symbols we cannot type that inside our keyboard okay we that symbols will not be present now we are having this exclamatory we can print that one we are having this at we can print we can we are having this hash we can print but for copyright if you just want to print that copyright symbol is not present present inside the keyboard okay we cannot type that one so for that we are just having let me just write here paragraph and here i'll be writing copyright let me just write the proper spelling copyright and for that okay we will be having one symbol and for that we are having copy okay you just have to write this one and copy i'll come here i'll refresh this one now you can see it is going to print it like this okay for this kind of symbol also we are going to use entities now this symbol is not present inside our keyboard so for that we are just using entity and we are just displaying that one okay if you are having okay if you just want to show whether it is registered or not so for that also we are having one entity let me just write here now here i'll be writing registered now for this i'm just going to write here and regis i'll save this okay once you give this one you will be getting all this suggestion you just have to explore this one i'll refresh this you can see for registered also we are having okay to print this kind of symbol also we are just writing this entities and also we are having one more entity now here i'm just writing paragraph i'll just write here lorem 10 i'll save this i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'm having this output okay one one space i'm having here now if i just give here extra spaces i'll save this I'll refresh this one. Okay, now this it is not going to detect any space. Only one it is going to print. Okay, rest all it is going to truncate. Rest all spaces it is going to remove. Only one space will be printed. If I just want to print the same output, I just have to write this inside preserve tag. Okay, we have already seen about preserve tag. Here, let me just copy the same thing. And here I'm going to paste. I'll come here. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see here I'm having this proper space and this output will be printed. Okay, but I don't want this kind of output. Now, suppose if I just want two spaces, you can use this one. Okay, you can just remove here. You can just give two spaces and you can display that one. But for that also, we are just having one more entity. Now, here I'll be writing paragraph. Inside this, I'll be writing lorem 10. Now, here after this, I just want two spaces. So, here I'm just going to write here and non-breaking space. Okay, you just have to write this one. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see first space whatever I have given that is being printed. Now next space is from this one. Okay, non-breaking space and next space is this and first space is this. Okay, if you just want to give two spaces, you can use that one. But it is not suggested that you have to use this. Okay, if you really need this one, then only you have to use this entity. Okay, regularly you don't have to use. Only if you need, only then you have to use this entity. Okay, and also if you just want to print like, let me just write here paragraph. If you just want to print pound symbol and I'll be writing here pound. I'll, I'll, I'll just put semicolon. I'll save this. If you don't put semicolon, then also you will be getting the output. But it is always suggested that for entities, you should always put semicolon. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see for pound symbol, I'm having this one. Okay, so entities are very useful. If you want to print any symbol or if you just want to print this kind of output then you can use entities okay these are reserved characters inside html we cannot use directly but using entities we can display the output okay and also one more thing if you are aware of diacritical marks okay let me just write that one i'll just write here html i'll be writing here diacritical critical marks I'll save this. Now, what is this? Let me just explain you. Now, here I'm just going to write here A. Let me just write A. Now, whenever you are writing A inside, okay, above A, we will be having some symbols. Okay, to see that one, we are just using this one, okay, diacritical marks. Now, let me just explain you that one. Now, here I'll be writing one paragraph. I just want to display on A. A, let me just write here and I and here i'm just passing some symbols and hash let me just write here seven six eight 
I'll save this. Okay, you don't have to by heart these numbers. Okay, I just know only two or three. I'll refresh this one. You can see to print this kind of symbols. Okay, above A, you can see I'm having one symbol. Okay, so for that, you can just use this one. In the same way, let me just copy this one. We are having uh, nine. Let me just write here. 70 and 71 save refresh you can see for this kind of symbols also we can use this one okay these are also okay these are also called as entities entities you can either start like this or you can just write here hash some number and we are just writing here and now if you just want to print for b let me just write here b i am just taking multiple cursors just keep on pressing alt and i am just writing here b I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see on B, I am having this output. Okay, for whatever characters you want to give that one, you can just write that character and these numbers. Okay, you don't have to buy hard these numbers. Only if you just know 768, okay, rest all 769, 70, okay, it's key. Okay, in sequence formats, you can just print any output. Okay, this is all about HTML entities and HTML entities are very useful. You should learn about this one. Okay, you should not buy hard. You just have to know about HTML entities and what are this one. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.